Hey traders, for today's trade, we are looking at buying a put option in mining stock Southern Copper to play the downside after the stock had quite a strong run higher. So taking a look at the stock on MarketSmith, shares broke out from what appears to be a saucer with handle base on January 4th. Soon after a move above the 63.26 buy point, shares wasted no time before launching sharply higher in very strong volume. When it comes to great breakouts, this is exactly the type of action you want to see. Nine up days in a row later, the stock reached its 20% profit zone and has been drifting sideways ever since. Shares have been trading tightly since then, but haven't begun to move higher again. The stock could be giving the moving averages time to catch up, or it may be burnt out. The stock is certainly extended here, and it may be smart to sell into strength, as this type of market environment over the last several months supports that type of trading decision. For investors who believe SCCO has had its run and is due for a pullback, you could consider buying a put option here. So let's go over to my trading dashboard and set up this trade. So with Southern Copper here trading around $74 a share, here's how we're going to set up this trade. First, you're going to want to select single as your spread type here in this box if you're using Thinkorswim. Then you're going to want to make sure you're looking at the March 17th expiration date. We have our single strike prices listed down here, and we're going to be clicking on the side of the screen, which has the prices for put options. Using the 70 strike. We're simply looking to buy one March 17th expiring 70 put option. With Southern Copper trading around $74 a share, we could look to buy the 70 strike put with the March 17th expiration. This trade would cost around $1.85 per contract with the maximum potential loss of $185 if Southern Copper trades above 70 on expiration. This trade will break even if Southern Copper trades at 68.15 on expiration and could earn multiples of the premium in the event of a sharp decline in prices. March 17th at the money options currently have an implied volatility of 34%, which is in line with the 33% realized volatility over the past 30 days, but it's still below the 40% realized volatility over the past year, which makes the March 17th at the money options appear cheap. Also, on a fundamental level, a lot of uncertainty remains on how a prolonged period of higher interest rates will affect stocks like Southern Copper. If the global economy starts to show deeper signs of hurt, copper prices along with Southern Copper will likely suffer. If this occurs, the put option could easily generate outsized returns. Investors should note that the stock does have earnings around February 1st, so there is an earnings risk with this trade. As always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice with a virtual account before risking any real money. And remember that options are complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. Be sure to join us here for our regular options content where we discuss new trade ideas every day. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.